I can't work out pounds. That's 55. Let's go to 60. It's around here that I want to be. Oh, Gym is complete. We are dressed, we are showered, and where are we going, son? We're going to Waffle House. Waffle House. This is one of the second thing. We did Chick-fil-A, didn't we, kid? Yeah, we did Chick-fil-A, then, we, then we're going to Waffle House. It's America. I bet that's somebody's favourite. To be fair, there's the Country Music Awards are happening in Austin. Uh, we saw that when we landed. So that might be uh, one of your favourite country stars. Um, it could be. That could be Taylor Swift. You could fit a kid underneath that car. Maxie, what are you on? Chocolate chips, maple syrup waffle. Assessing. Idea on what? Okay. <laughs> Mommy, what are we having? Eggs, brown and bacon. Oh, I'm on the same, but I've got the milk. Uh, I also got a pecan waffle to check out. Jamesy, you got enough syrup on there, kid? No, not enough. What are you having? Peanut butter? Yeah, peanut butter, chip, maple syrup, and a waffle. Mmm, alright, let's give it a try. Waffle House review. Terrible. Yeah, I mean, it was. <laughs> Terrible, that's what it is. It was dirty inside. It was dirty. It smelled like egg. No, it smelled like rotten egg. It did. And then I thought the waffles were smelly. Sorry, America. All right. We tried it though. Those waffles were softer than a bunny rabbit's coat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first hiccup of the trip. Emma's freaking out in there. She's asked me to come outside. They've overbooked all the cars for the amount of people coming for the eclipse. So we turned up, they said, oh, we tried to call you yesterday. We were on planes and they have no cars for us. We just paid $55 to come out, out of town to this rental place to get the car. So I booked a hire car five months ago in Texas because there's no way of getting to the ranch without having a car and I knew that the traffic would be really like bad and everybody was gonna hire cars, so I booked a hire car. We turned up today, nine o'clock this morning to get it, no car. So I was like, that's impossible. I've got a reservation from Thursday. I got a reservation from five months ago and a confirmation of my reservation on Thursday this week. We're now on Saturday, so how have we got no car? So he's just fucking about. Um, saying, oh, well, I've overbooked by 80 cars. Like, that's my problem. So I was like, so are you gonna pay me the four grand to stay on the ranch then? And also, I even thought the rodeo tickets, cause we won't be able to get there. And then you can pay for the hotel that we're gonna have to book in Austin. Is that gonna happen? So he said, oh, well, I'll, you'll have to take that with Hertz. I'm gonna try and get you another car. So then, oh right, okay, you can get us another car. No guarantee of the size of it. Bearing in mind, we've got four people and four suitcases. So they send us with these two Americans and this woman driving us, which she might as well have driven us to San Antonio because it was fucking miles away. And then she's like, she's trying to be nice in the car. I don't even want to speak to her. Like, are you mad? You've literally just spent an hour and a half of my time this morning telling me we've got no car and now we're fucking about driving somewhere else. Anyway, we've got a car, but... Yeah, yeah, and so, because we don't have a credit card, the best bit is, if you don't want to get yourself in debt, you have to pay 500 pound for the privilege of it. So we've had to pay an extra 500 pound because we wanted to use a debit card and not a credit card. And they didn't have the same rates, did they? What, 1,500 pounds? Oh yeah, he wanted 1,500 quid for the car. <laughs> I don't think so. Fucking get me out of Austin. Well, we're going. Where are we going? San Antonio. I'm going to get a taco and a beer. See you there.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to Congress Bridge in downtown Austin, Texas. Check it out. Some badass architecture here, but this bridge, apparently, mummies maybe just get an Uber here. Because, why? Because she wants to see the bats. There's apparently something like 1.7 million bats under this bridge, and they all fly out every night. Bex can find a clip. I see zero bats. I see one lonesome pigeon, hard chilling. There he is. I know, Max, I feel a little scammed on this bat thing. What do you think? I mean, I'm going to be perfectly oh, honest. Oh, now we're over here. Mummy's like, oh, she can see like 50 bats. If I'm here. going to be honest, yeah. I wasn't really looking forward to just see bats underneath a bridge. <laughs> and now there are no bats. This must be 1.7 million bats. Yeah, I can see them all. Like, yeah, you see all the bats. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> You're getting to become such a teenager. <laughs> a lot of people running in Texas. I can feel the vibe here. The jogger ratio is off the charts. All right. I have very little zoom on here, team. Going in. Bat chest? I see nothing. There's one bat and then they clap. This is the bat place though, they are here. Like, to be fair, they, they are in there, but they've obviously learned to very, be very well hidden. Max. Okay, are we call it the bat thing of failure? I'm just calling it rubbish. Sorry, Austin, no bats. The sound you're hearing in the background is gunfire. Yes, we're at the Lone Star Gun Ranch in Texas, just outside San Antonio. We want to try and shoot a gun. What? Have you got an issue with... Oh, Bex He's is going to see range. this. This is to attract deers, Bex, so you can shoot them. I'm not happy about this. I'm not trying to upset you, Bex. It's just where we are. Let me give you context of where we are. We're in a place called Bucky's. We just drove past it, and uh, the kids said it's a very famous place we need to go in. It's like the world's biggest gas station or something. See the good in all things at Bucky's. Choose joy. Oh, what, what, what? I could wear this. Oh, they're hot. Oh yeah, they are pretty nice. Can you imagine me, me and you in them? Oh my God. I think we're having another kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, even better. Um... Oh yeah. That's more classy. Oh, that's the classy one. Yeah, for sure. Totally want to dive in there. Why is it such a big deal? Oh, food, jerky.
Welcome to the Dude Ranch. This is the dream that Emma's been looking for and I don't know why as we're driving in and I'll show you this in a bit. All the signs are this is horse country and everything about this place is horses. But great success. Emma has found her magical flowers of purple. What are these called Em? The blue bonnet. Snake show. <laughs> Don't grab it. I'm scared. And then look here real quick. <laughs> I got it. Oh, its face is coming. We're going for barbecue and Max is filling up on snacks. I'm helping. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> Outrageous. <laughs> He's totally talking up some girl. James is Paul. Audience. What do I do? This guy's got a girlfriend, so he's sat over here, so he's not sat near any girls. Yep. And my other one's not got a girlfriend, so he's sat and talking to all the girls. Let's ask Mummy. Mummy, you married into a family of thirsty boys. Um, if he has got your testosterone, that James. We're going. Thanks. Tell the truth, did you expect this trip to be this long? <laughs> All we want I... is some sausages. Do you know where the. <laughs> Do you know where we did that snake thingy? Explain yourself. You're on camera. <laughs> Go on, what are you right, Do you know where we did that snake thingy, me, Bob? Yeah. There were some trees behind there, wasn't there? There are a lot of trees around here, mate. We're in a forest. I said trees, you dumb bro. Oh, trees? Yeah, like T R A Y S. Just, yeah. What about the trays? I thought they were food trays, so I thought we were going to have it there. Oh, I did see those food trays, actually. They were them ones that are warmed by hot water beneath them to keep things warm. That's what they are. You don't know. You're a kid. How the hell do you know? <laughs> he hasn't got a clue. He's 10 years old. Loser. <laughs> Coming low under this in the night. Keep your face out of the yeah, yeah, yeah. hot part. Toast it nice and slow. This is the first time I've ever toasted a marshmallow. <laughs> well, welcome to America. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here two days. <laughs> toasted marshmallows. Are you this is really this is the best part. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you don't have to experience the lack of uni universal health care. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my insurance, I'm okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the end of the day. Yeah. We're on the hayride, we're going home. It's been amazing, we're full of barbecue and full of beer. 
I'm full of brownies. Brownies? Yeah. I'm full of cookies and marshmallows. Has it been your favorite day? Yeah. All right. Good night, everybody. Wait a minute, you didn't Bye -bye. ask me. Oh, has it been your favorite day so far? It's unbelievable, my favorite day. I'm uh, here with all these wonderful people. It's fabulous. And you're an amazing veterinarian. I, I am a veterinarian. Okay. I am amazing. Uh, there you go, see? <laughs> see, we're doing well. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, no, stop. Bex. Chris, we have no idea how we're going to edit this. Good luck. There's a beetle on me. <laughs>